hello friends in this video we will discuss how we can connect sql server from node.js <coughs> so here is the package for ms sql i already have created the project and host it over the git i will share the url in the video so this is the git repository so let me just clone it to my local so i am going to just copy it and here on my console i am using ubuntu so I am here, I am just want to make a, a directory I am within the directory and here I wanna clone my repository so it started cloning my node my C MS SQL repository and it's cloned successfully. I'm going to open it in the Visual Studio Code. So this is the repository. And here we have package.json index.js. This is the complete code. And uh, we have views where I have just created a dummy view to show the data from SQL Server. So let's initialize our code by using npm install. I am in the project directory and I am going to run npm install. It will restore all my packages and we will be okay to run our application. So it's restored 60 packages. Let's try to run our application. So it is started listening on 4501 port. So I am just going to hit it from the browser. So I have just started. And here. So it is taking too long. This is because of as the connection string I have used to connect my SQL server. So here is the error comes out. We are not. Uh, we got a connection timeout. Means we are not able to connect with the SQL Server. But if you see, let me show you. I am using this machine. This is not the machine where I am running this code. So let me check. So. This is my address local machine where I am running my node.js code and I am connecting to my SQL server on some other port like this. So let me check whether it's running or not. So first thing I am going to test whether I am able to ping this server or not. So I am going to turn it on this port. So start telnet host name 168 on port number 1433 let's try let me wait for few seconds so if because I am in the same local network and it's taking too much time that means we are not able to ping it so let me first log in to the system and check whether sql server is running or not so i am using remote desktop to take my windows machine this is the machine name where we are looking for our sql server instead so we have successfully logged into our sql machine <coughs> Connect the help of SQL Server Management Studio. So, on server we have SQL Server 2017 and it's an Express Edition. So, let me connect it. Nice, it's connected successfully. And if I am using SQL Server Authentication, still I am able to connect it. So, my server is running, I am able to connect my database 
but there is some issue in the network connection means we are not able to stabilize network connection so the possible causes for this is first my port is not open second means uh, there is a firewall loop that uh, we cannot access port number second um, my sql server is not configured to listen for remote connection so the second one is the more most probable case so let me figure out whether we have configured or my uh, sql server machine has configured the remote connection for sql server or not so to do that we will go to sql server machine and search for sql server configuration manager right this one so let it open so first of all check for the client protocol and tcp ip protocol should be enabled which is disabled here so first step to enable this protocol here so i am just enabling it applying it okay second thing on the network configuration of sql server you will get your instance and here again you will have to enable the tcp port for it so tcp ip is enabled here again you will have to give a port here and this is the default 1433 in the uh, tcp port if you don't have any entry here you just put 1433 which is the default port for sql server and click ok and on the this service wizard you may have this another service is running but currently i have stopped all those only my sql engine is running so i am just going to restart it to apply all the setting that we have changed here so it's started and let's go back to our ubuntu machine and i'm just minimizing this and let's again is trying to connect it first tell it it's still not able to connect means there is a problem with the firewall as well so we have to configure firewall as well so just connect it again maybe we have a connection open yeah yes so let me check with the firewall so yes we have firewall enabled so i have just i need to just add a simple inbound rule which i had already added this one you can look on this so let me create once and delete it so you will have to create inbound rule because you are looking for inbound connections new rule you will need to open a port select the port next you need a tcp port so i have 1433 port number i just entered 1433 next we need to allow the connection we have allowed it next this is the networks we are allowing so let check all give it a meaningful name i am going to give it ms sql and finish again come back to your linux machine and try to terminate it so it's connected successfully means we have now the problem of network has been resolved now we have to check whether we our sql server is configured for remote connection or not so we have already done those configuration now check by running the application so just uh, make me run here no index dot cheers it started listening and if you come to here and refresh the page sorry it's local host 4501 yeah so data has been populated here means we are successfully connected to sql server so i was just interested in showing the configuration part of sql server because i have spent two three day, days just finding how i can connect to it lots of uh, documentation on ms sql page you will see that they are saying sql server browser they are saying the instance name to the sql server browser must be running for the database server so i was very misled by this 
uh, documentation but uh, due to have some configuration is why I was not able to start my SQL Server browser so I just uh, poked my nose in the uh, internet for finding something I found that we can do the, uh, the configuration of our SQL Server machine without running the SQL Server browser so that we can successfully connect with, with the SQL Server on remotely so this is all that I wanted to share with you all guys so let me just walk through with the code which is a very simple code here I have just used a simple express application so I just installed the express package and he uses the express module and I have used a SQL module to connect the SQL server I have also used the EJS for the new engine so this is all three dependencies only three dependencies you can see in the packagation I am EJS expression MS SQL this is only the three dependencies that I am using here so first thing first we will have to prepare a connection string for our SQL server if you see the documentation there is a connection string lots there but uh, uh, there is also a way to connect with, the, with this uh, MS SQL module with the help of config uh, object but I failed by that so I am using the connection string part so this is the basically connection string here is the username for your database this is the password separated by the colon and add sign to pass your database IP address this is my database IP address colon port number if you are using 41433 this is the default for SQL server then you don't need to pass it and if you are passing it there is no any issue with that so I have just passed it for the demo and again you will have to give a forward slash and the database name so i have just created db scott database on my database so let me show you how it is so this is my db scott database and uh, i am just showing here is a data which i am interested to show with the help of node so this is the data and uh, so and i have just created an instance of my sql module with the sql name and i have registered an error listener error event listener here and i just wanted to close the connection and uh, here in this line i have just prepared for my get request on the default url with the help of uh, express and I started to connect with my SQL server so this is the connect statement with the help of this connection string and if successfully connected then I will ask to query uh, execute this query on the server select a string from employee and if this is successful then the second point will resolve that we will just close the connection and the data which is available in the rec uh, result dot record set will pass to the view so the response or render will call the EGS view engine to render the data view with the help of this model data so here I have created the data dot EGS this is the view here and here the scriptlet tag which is rendering the data so we got the model here we looped over it and we just uh, iterated the complete TR and populated the values of different column in the TDs and finally we have just started listening on the 4501 port so this is all that our node application is doing so thanks for watching we will meet you in the next tutorial thank you